We're early. <laughs> You're like, I can't wait to go. Let's go. It's just we're early. I wasn't planning on being early. It just turned out that way whilst I was getting ready for the, this. Whilst is, I'm pretty sure, a word. I'd be wrong. I think. No. Who knows? Words are hard. Uh, while I'm waiting on people to show up, I'm going to change my cover image. Because it still says total book. If it'll let me. What's up, you guys? Swapper, Susan, Dream May. Are you new? Or maybe I just haven't been paying attention. Thank you for coming in, for showing up, and being here. Susan and Stacy, hey, hi, how are you? Melanie, Francesca, other Susan. Are you guys having an awesome day? What's today? Wednesday. Yeah. I did just check the um, day on my computer. Don't judge me. You're trying to make a wave unsuccessfully, Karen, so you're trying on purpose to be unsuccessful or you're saying nothing's just working. Hi Shane, Resonate, Roxy. Jude, hey Jude, hi Arlene. Um, I've already essentially prepped. This is one of our something, 12 by 24 cradle boards. I mixed up a Blue Lagoon tint from Color Obsession, a Bondi Blue tint from Color Obsession, and a Turquoise Seas tint from Color Obsession. They're transparent and color fast, light fast. And then also titanium white from Just Resin. I just got three cases from Just Resin and two cases from Resin Art. If you guys have been waiting on specific colors, I may have them now. Hello, Carla. Oh, you got your order today? How was it? You've been watching videos galore. I have done a number of different kinds of oceans, but today, going rogue. I'm experimenting. Don't know how it's going to turn out. We're going to find out together. You guys know that I do the platypus attachment style waves. Where are you? There you are. And then the west coast style waves. The stretched out ocean look. Love of those. But today we're doing cling wrap style ocean. I, I don't know, probably someone out there has done this before. I have not done this before. But I feel like it would leave a wavy texture. So I'm just gonna try it. I'm just gonna try it. Karen, this is the white that I'm using today. A lot of times, success of a wave with resin also depends on what type of heat you're using, how much heat you're using, and what kind of resin you're using. Um, resonate, I am um, finishing up the pieces. I had to clear coat a few of them. I had to finish the sides on almost all of them. So that. Uh, did you send me an email or a text? Hi, Mary. Oh, yeah. I have all of the titanium in stock. Hey, Valerie. How are you? So a long, long time ago, I used aluminum something 
to create a, a mold that I use for um, like a tray, a serving tray. And because it's aluminum, it had like that crinkleness in it and it left an awesome oceany looking texture. And I'm thinking, why can't I do that on the top? It was on the bottom of it that had that texture. Okay, good. Um, so yeah. I don't know how this is gonna work out. I'm thinking it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna find out. Cause we're gonna do the test so you don't have to. So to start, I am using Stone Coat Art Coat. And I'm gonna just put down Sharon, let me get these colors down and put this in the dust-free zone. It'll only take me like 15 minutes to do this piece and then we'll talk about the rose. We'll talk about the rose. So I'm gonna say that this area right here is gonna be the deep. Then there's gonna be just a little bit more deepage. Deepage, that's not words. Um, and then I'm going to use my turquoise seas closer to the shore because that's how oceans do. Um, I mixed five ounces of resin to do this partial 12 by 24. this point, I'm wondering if I made not enough resin. I may have to mix it some more. Sounds like an interesting rose story. It's not interesting, it's heartbreaking. But I will give you all the deeds in a little bit. You still can't get onto your side. I don't know if it's my phone or what's so frustrated. Y'all sell some stuff I want to buy. In a couple weeks. Raina, if you have too many issues, you can always just email me with what you're interested in and I can send you an invoice. I don't know. I haven't I haven't had that many people with website issues lately, so I don't know what the problem would be, but I definitely want to help you get on there and get what you would like off of the website. Maybe this would be good. Ocean. Those little squiggly lines were a little bit too harsh, so I just had to break those up a little bit. Boy cat, that's not yours. He knows his name. He looks up when I catch him doing something he's not supposed to do. But then he goes on with it. What kind of resin you prefer to suggest to use on a tumbler cups when you do them? Jessica, I prefer Stone Coat's countertop coat right now because it's thick, it dries faster than my art coat, and it doesn't give me any 
like issues with dimples or things like that. I don't carry it, but you can get it from stonecoatcountertops.com. Use my code uh, YALL, Y-A-L-L, all caps, no punctuation, to get a discount. So it's awesome. That's exciting, Arlene. All right, first wave. Now this, uh, <coughs> Bowie's playing with cat. This piece isn't gonna be concentrating on wave structure. It's gonna be concentrating on texture. Hi, Joe. My pleasure, Jessica. Beautiful, soft ocean bumps on waves. Here it goes. I know, they're being extra. Super extra. Hi, Boo Boo. Hi, baby. Are you hiding from the cat? Yeah? Are you antagonizing the cat? Probably. It's like it focuses for a quick second and then it's like, nah. Melanie, we used to exclusively use <coughs> Envirotex Light like way back in the day because we got, yes, Arlene, this is uh, raw. Um, we got it on sale from Hobby Lobby and Michaels, right? With their like discount, but they don't do that anymore. And almost every piece that we did with Envirotex yellowed within a year. So we don't use Envirotex anymore. However, you can use Envirotex and do like a flood coat with a really good UV resistant resin like Art Coat or your UV resistant resin of choice. But that's not yours. Bring in here. Here, Bowie. Come come up. So yeah, just be warm. Oh, come here, Bowie. Come on. 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 Come or more foamy. Um, Envirotex also has a shorter working time, about 45 minutes. 
So the cling wrap, I'm gonna put on here to create that little bit choppy ocean look. Hi, boo boo. I'm not, I'm not done yet, so you just relax, okay? You just go lay down like a big bear. Good boy. So I'm hoping when I lay this cling wrap down, I don't have that many issues from I guess the seam from where the cling wrap starts and where I'm going to stop it. That's what we're finding out together, right? Right. Hey, Tracy. All right, I don't have any regular cling wrap. I'm out. So I'm using a press and seal. This has a slight texture to it, which if my this is gonna focus, yeah, you see that like, chicken skin texture. I'm not really concerned about that. Also, I can never, ever use the perforated thing on a cling wrap. It just doesn't work for me. So I'm using an exacto blade. If you're trying this at home, feel free to use the thing that's on there. Okay. I haven't really thought this through. No one's surprised, but I had it in my head, so I had to try it. Ready? Okay. Wait. I think I just realized how I can figure out the seam. I'm just going to cut it in like a, a wavy pattern. Okay, wait. Okay, good. Okay, wait. At least I'm going to try to cut this. So it's not just a straight line where I end the cling wrap, you know what I mean? I'm trying to cut and not cut myself while talking, so it's kind of broken. You know what I mean? Words are hard. Just like fling wrap. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Now it's stuck to my shirt. That's fine. So, now my cling wrap has this not straight edge on it. I'm gonna, gonna just bam right there. And it looks like cut it long enough, so I'm going to cut this off and put it on this corner. Give up. Well, I was in theory going to do that. Okay. There we go.
Now I'm crinkling it. Because that's going to give me the texture I'm looking for. And the white you see is the cradle board that's under it. In retrospect, if I were to do this again, I would spray paint the board maybe a blue color. But also maybe not <laughs> because it may look good that way. It's something we're going to have to wait and see. Are you laughing at me? I don't remember laughing. But I probably will. I mean, I would laugh at me. I am pretty funny. Now, cling wrap is plasticky, so I anticipate this lifting up without too much hassle. But you know what? It never fails when you have an idea with resin that resin's like, ha ha, I don't think so. And then it does what it wants to do. just cinching and pinching in the areas. So I'm gonna let this set up overnight and then tomorrow I'm gonna come in and peel it up. And in my head, it's gonna leave a texture that looks oceany. But like I said, sometimes resin's gonna resin. I see that, Emma, I see that, I see that. E just made us go, ah, uh, interesting. You know, Francesca, I bet it will be matte because when you use any like mold things, your resin's gonna take on the finish of whatever the mold is. So if your mold is matte, your piece is gonna be matte. And if your mold is shiny, your piece is gonna be shiny. And since this is kind of matte, this particular kind, not all saran wrap, but this clean wrap is matte. I'm willing to bet it's gonna also leave a matte finish. Which I'm not gonna be upset about, but also I'll probably flood coat it as well. Every bit that I pinch and move, I'm leaving these corners open, so I'm trying to... Tudor! Will this cure in the same amount of time? It'll cure in regular amount of time. So by the time I wake up in the morning, it should be set enough for me to pull the, the plastic off. Beat, when you get a second, come look at my this. It will go shiny if I do another um, coat, which I just might. I don't know. I'm going to play it by ear after this point. I really hope that you guys think this looks really neat because I do. And try it yourself. Uh, if you flood coat it, won't the texture disappear? If I super flood coat it, it will. But if I like skim coat it and basically just mix just a little bit and like rub my hand on it, it'll just make it a gloss, you know? No worries, Tudor. 
And was the resin still on the board? It is. It is. This gives me so many ideas. I'm so excited, Francesca. I hope it gives all of you guys some awesome ideas because that's kind of what we're here for. I want to inspire you guys to think outside of the box, to find inspiration in the most strange places. I want to, I want to help you guys to develop your own style and be the best artist that you guys can be. That's kind of the whole point of our channel is to help you guys to develop your hardness um, I'm also going to try this on a tumbler because I think it would leave something awesome I don't know how to work because reasons but I think it might work which is enough for me to want to try it hey B come look at my this before I take it away Tell them, bro. Tell them. Whoopee. Whoa. What is that? It's going to be ocean texture. Wow. For like the bottom. Mm-hmm. Whoa. I wonder if you painted like a realistic dolphin under there first, then put that on there, then do that technique. Would it look like there's a, a dolphin underneath? That would be cool. Look at this guy. You may just have you do the dolphin, nice. the dolphin fin. Dolphin fin? Mm -hmm. Anyways, I'm going to take this away, and then we're going to tell you about the rose. Oops. It's a little dark in here, it looks like. Looks like she... I didn't touch it. Um, I know, it's just because of... Uh, hi, y'all. What's up? We, the sun was going down. It was super bright in here earlier. Um, the, uh, what do you call it? It was sunny all day today, so it was super nice. I got a 3D print of a card holder that I designed if you guys don't know who this is, this is Cujo. He's about 47 years old. No, he's like 13. He 13? 13, bro? 13? Do a stingray. Jesus, that's Tutor said? Oh, that's Tutor. I didn't know that was cute, too. Okay, cute. Okie dokie. Right there. Meow. Let's talk about this rose. Um. <laughs> Don't know what happened, but. I think we just put too much heat. I was just getting a little crazy with the heat. It gave me the inspiration for my ocean texture. That's where that came from. Um, ow. Richard, you don't have to knee check me every time you need something. Do you want to come up? So, it did not work out. Um, and I'm assuming by the color of it and the ripples and the fact that it discolored our mold in general that it got too hot too fast. And this could be from the amount of heat we mixed into it, trying to pop the bubbles before we mix it in. The fact that we lifted, nope, the fact that we, sorry, we filled our mold arguably more full than the recommended one to two inches even though i feel like this is a two inch depth um he is a destroyer of worlds 
the mold release could have affected it. There's so many different things. So today I got up, inspected the issue, messaged Total Boat. They gave me some pointers after rewatching the video on things that I could have done accidentally wrong. And we're gonna do another video, a troubleshooting video on how to um, not have this happen because of operator error, which I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that the issues with that casting are operator in nature. So, womp womp. I don't, I don't think it was total boat. But I'm gonna do a few more tests to be sure. I already poured a half inch, a one inch, a like puck poster mold, and a few other things with the casting epoxy that is setting up right now that I can demold for you guys tomorrow and show you my second attempt, which is before the um, corrections that Total Boat gave me. Hopefully, hopefully I figured it out before they could tell me, as crazy as that sounds, I like to be able to figure out the issue but if not, they're gonna help me out and um, we're gonna find out what the issue is. I'm pretty sure it's because we added a little too much heat and then we had all those other factors. So I did more and I'll show you guys tomorrow. Also, they offered a 15% off for anyone wanting to use our code, artist till death, one word, two T's, two L's. Uh, for any first time purchasers. I know that this is not a good look, but I think this reflects more on me rather than Total Boat. But maybe not. Um, I don't think that they are over promising, but I'm gonna find out for you guys because we do the test so you don't have to, yeah? Use a plastic rose? Well, not that many people want to cast plastic roses. Um, I can try it with a plastic rose. But I want to cast a real rose. And there are resins that you can do that. And so, since it doesn't explicitly say don't cast live flowers on the packaging, I feel like I should be able to do it. The sides won't even come off, dude. Like, I don't, it, it just won't. I, this is the most I got off of it. Got a little, boop. Um, maybe I'll have Jeff take this with him to Makers and have him, like, sand it down in there because the only bubbles I can see from this top angle are from like exiting out of the rose and the amount of heat that it looks like it was battling which is what gave it this texture it got too hot too fast while it was setting that's what that is too hot in a hot tub but it inspired me to do the piece we did today so Well, Francesca, we have used this foam core board a number of times to make molds for silicone projects and resin casting. So unless it just got something on it that didn't agree with Total Boat, I don't think it was this.
But um, Total Built watched and they gave me their feedback and sent me some pointers and was apologetic. I feel bad because I did a product review that maybe because of choices didn't turn out in the best light. But again, I don't think this was a them. I think it's a me. And I'm already starting the process on figuring out the problem is. But I don't want you guys to feel like I am leaving you in the lurch and not giving you the information. It just cooked too fast. Yeah, but I want to know why it cooked too fast. I know that the issue is that it cooked too fast. For sure, for sure, for sure. But why? What set it off? Could be something on the poster board. Could be the mold release, even though Total Boat said in the live feed that the kind that we had would be appropriate for what we're trying to do with Total Boat. Um, it could be the amount of heat that we were adding to it, trying to pop the bubbles. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And it could be that it's too deep of a pour. So I deconstructed all those options and poured a whole bunch of other new ones that are setting right now. And we'll find out tomorrow what's up. Also tomorrow we'll find out how the texture piece turned out. Hi there. Can I help you? Did you bring a puppy guess? Can I have puppy? Can I have puppy? Thank you. Get you puppy. Um. Extra heat plus deepness. Um. Austin. Uh, sorry, Manuel says uh, he blames Vamp. I usually do. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, seeing what we're up to today. Experiments. And, um, sorry this is a quicker video. Okay, come here. Sorry this was a quicker video, but... <coughs> I have to finish sanding and shipping pieces from the fire sale, so I hope that's okay. You guys are amazing. Join us in all of these other locations if you want to. Please subscribe. Leave us your thumbs. Uh, what do what be? I don't think he's talking to me. No, I'm talking to um, and we got a whole bunch of paint in to the shop, so check it out. Subscribe, share, like, etc. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Same ATD time, same ATD place. We do the test. So you don't have to. We gotta work on it. You have to work on it. Work on it. I nailed it. I nail it every time. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Whatever, you love it. I can't even help it. Be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! I said bye! You love it. You can't even not love it. Mommy loves it. Mommy love it. Baby me loves it. And baby me loves it. Don't you my baby pup. You go outside. We just went outside. Go outside again.